All right, in the next section, 5.5, uh, we're going to look at writing equations, um, and we're going to continue with the point-slope format and changing that into slope-intercept form, mx plus b. Uh, but now we're going to look at trying to write equations that are parallel or perpendicular to other graphs uh, or equations. So um, first thing, let's kind of look at the what happens with slopes when they're parallel or perpendicular. So the first uh, part here, find the slope of the lines below. So can someone raise your hand? And if we're just focusing on line A, what is the slope here? So M equals two. Uh, and how about line B? Yeah, M also equals two. Now, uh, this is a very simple question. Would you say that these two lines, A and B, are they parallel or are they perpendicular? Yeah, they're definitely parallel. So what can you conclude about parallel lines and their slope? Uh, two non-vertical lines have the same, um, here we can put, uh, sorry, I said the word same slope, then they are parallel. So we learned that uh, actually last chapter. Sorry, that's uh, parallel. All right, so now this is a little bit different. So we want to write an equation of the line that passes through this coordinate and is parallel to this line. So the first thing we'll do here is we're going to get our point slope going here. Uh, raise your hand. If we want it to be parallel to this equation, what should the slope be for this uh, new equation we're writing? Yeah, it has to be 3 because we want it to be the same. So then we have negative 3 comma negative five. Um, if you could, could you possibly write that in point slope form and then change it to slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b? All right, if you did that correctly, did you get uh, 3x plus four? y equals 3x plus four. Great, so if we go to Desmos, just to prove that this works here, um, here is my Desmos. So the first one, sorry, I'll probably fast forward this later. Uh, the first equation was uh, originally y equals 3x minus 1. And then the next one we made was y equals 3x minus 4. Uh, sorry. So you can see they're parallel, and this one does, the blue line does go through uh, negative 3 and negative 5. It should write, sorry, i got to go down here, negative 3 and then negative 5, uh, 3x. Oh, geez, it's plus 4. My bad. Why isn't that working? So let's try that again. Uh, negative 3, and then if we scroll down here, uh, there we go, negative 3, 5. We'll fast forward a lot of that. All right, so moving on to the next page uh, here in our notes. Uh, let's try page 29A, uh, looking at perpendicular lines. 